Hey, good morning, fam. <laughs> Don here from Peggy and Don. I am out here in the back of our RV because today is moving day. And that's a little bit nerve wracking for me because that means we have to break down, hook up, and set up again basically by ourselves. You know, right now we've been doing it with like kind of a little hand holdy. We're only like about 10 minutes away from the RV dealership and 10 minutes away from the house. So if we need anything, we can just go back to the house. But now we have to make sure we really have everything. We pack accordingly. We know how to pack and stuff like that. I feel like this is where the RV and gets real. Look at that view behind me. We right there on the lake. There's a lot of great RVs out here and stuff, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of miss this spot. We're going to a more rustic we're going to a more rustic location we're going to sky air force base they still have water and electricity so there's nothing for us to complain about but the sewer system is going to have to be a dump station and so that's another thing for me to do so like i said this feels like we're getting more closer and closer to real and eventually we might have the boondock and stuff so i got to get myself ready to do all this stuff so I'm going to, uh, we have to figure out how to secure everything for travel. We have to go through our uh, basement, I guess I'm going to call it, and uh, make sure everything is packed up nice and neat. I got to pack up the stinky slinky, get that cleaned out before we pack it up and stuff like that. So I've already promised Peggy that I, all I need her to do is make sure the inside is secure. So Peggy's in charge of the inside, and I have to do everything outside. Hey, this is my idea, so hey, that's what comes with the territory. I'm just going to sit out here for a little bit and just enjoy this view. We are leaving 370 Lakeside Park in St. Peter's, Illinois. This is a beautiful, not, not St. Peter's, Illinois, St. Peter's, Missouri. And this is a beautiful uh, city-owned park. Very clean, very well-maintained, nothing but nice people, nothing but nice staff. I mean, I have zero complaints. Wi-Fi is basically un completely unavailable really i think we got half a bar <laughs> never used the wi-fi for anything everything we tried to use it for it says uh not enough uh internet connection so wi-fi is non-existent but besides that we don't need wi-fi you're camping why are you why are you worried about wi-fi get out there get some fresh air peggy peggy and i have done more walking and biking than we have done in months and even though that steam come out of, my, out of my breath, it is not cold. It feels great. I it's brisk. So I'm gonna enjoy this while before I have to start getting myself to work and start uh, getting us ready to hit the road. More excitement and adventure waits, like I always say. Hey, how's it going, fam? Um, we're getting ready to pack up for our first real tow, our first move away from the area. Um, but I just wanted to come clean about a couple things. Um, there are a couple mistakes I've made that we never corrected on this first setup that made our uh, first few nights less than ideal. Peggy has been a trooper about it and everything, but uh, yeah, she's already said, do not make these mistakes again. But the first thing I did was I tried to eyeball the leveling of the trailer, right? And so if you were to set a golf ball or something on the floor inside the trailer, it would just roll to the right side. That was a bad idea. You feel it the whole time you're in there. So all I had to do was go to Walmart and buy a little $4 leveling set. And I'm gonna show you how far off we were. So here we go. So this is the level for the front of our cab. And look at that bubble. It is all the way to the left. You would think an inch and a half would make like no difference whatsoever, but we're about inch and a half, two inches low on the right hand side. And we felt it every step every time we walked. So Peggy has made it clearly, kind, kindly she said it, but she has made it clear. Do not make that mistake again, Donald. And I won't. Here we go, this is this is Mark. He's in the uh, trailer next Hello. to us and stuff. Hey, how's it going, fam? The people that you meet in your neighborhood. Hello. So this is Mark, him, him and Mary are, are in a, a new trailer too, a new setup. Driving the same kind of truck and everything else. Yep. Yep. Been very, very helpful sharing all the knowledge and information they gained over the years. <laughs> yes. How long y'all been doing this? Uh, in, in a travel trailer, this is our sixth year. Wow. So we've been camping for probably 25 years. Or wow. 30 more. I, I camped since a kid, but 
And that's so that's 55 years or 65 years. <laughs> wow. Anyway, you look great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but yeah, yeah so we so, enjoy it. Yeah, he's been sharing his knowledge with us. Every time I have a question, he's just so happy to help out and stuff like that. Not a problem. He was out here cooking baked beans the other day in a, yeah. uh, we call it a Dutch oven or something kind of D thing. Yes, Dutch oven. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, he's doing this thing big the way I want to do it. Someday I'll get to his point. It takes time. I, it, all of this didn't come at once, I guarantee you. Awesome. And we had a brother in law who and sister who taught us a whole lot. They had trailers before we did, so. We kind of follow their lead, and that's what yeah. you do. You figure out what you need to do and how other people do it. So, you know what? I'm glad you said that because a lot of times, well, every time I ask a question, people say, there's a YouTube video on it. There's a YouTube yeah, video on right, it. Right. But it's kind of it's kind of good to be able to talk to some people and, and first-hand information. First-hand information. You know. Exactly. Right. Okay, fam, so we're down here now at um, on Mark's trailer right here. And he was explaining to me about how this works. Right. The more this jack is extended, mm -hmm. the less stable your trailer is going to be because it, it, it becomes too wobbly. So the more, block, the more blocks of wood you can put underneath it and make this jack higher so it doesn't it just stretched out so much, the more stable your trailer yeah. will be. So this is what I had. A single jack pad, not even an inch thick, I bet. <laughs> yeah that is not a mistake that the Don is going to make again and I just went out and bought about 16 2 by 8s so I'm hoping to put 4 on each leg so that should be well, 8 that inches that would work yeah. Two by, two by, yeah, that would yeah work. so I should have 8 inches of uh, stabilizer jack padding for each one so we'll just see how that works that, that, that would work better see, I'm just good. you got to spray it with uh, this, this oil Okay. Some sort of seasoning oil. Yeah, because cast I've iron. This, I've had this like three years, three or four years, and have used it quite a few times, and it's still in good shape. It's fantastic. Again, it How did the beans come out? Oh, they were great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have a little container? I'll give you some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, this is Mary. Hey, how you doing? Extremely nice today. We hate to leave you guys, but we're heading out today. We are too. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Everybody's packing up. Too. I have one suggestion for Peggy. What's what's that? I have a uh, like a Rubbermaid box. Yes. That goes with me into the trailer and unloads. Okay. And then that's what I take dirty laundry, excess, all back home. And then you've you've always got it available to you. It works great. Well, I got two tough boxes I've been using for all the other stuff. But you know what? Though? I need to get Peggy a box for the inside it of the is. trailer. It is. It is just it, and that's all it's for. Nobody gets to put anything in it but me. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here with Mary right now. Um, Mary is showing me the book that they typed up <laughs> <laughs> to learn from. You see all the scratches and everything? They learned, them. They learned from the mistakes they've made and stuff like that. And so, yes, we, Peggy and I will be putting one of these little books together too. It really too. did help. And so we did how to set up the camper and then some different operations so we'd know how big our tanks were and Look everything. At that. And then... Um, how to take down the camper like you have to remember to put your blinds up because you shouldn't travel with the blinds down when you're traveling they tell you to have them up because um it the way they're attached at least the way ours are attached, oh it it vibrates that See out that? And, look at that that's um, good information right there and this tells you like we told what we needed to do at the dump station yeah and then what we had to do to connect the hitch so we don't forget to do anything. And, and you got some more so, handwritten notes, yeah. just the reminders and stuff like that. <laughs> We're yeah. pretty anal, though. <laughs> yeah, but so Peggy and I, we'll be putting our little book together. It really did help. Yes. You know, we sat down, talked about what we needed to know, went through the um, manual yeah. that they gave you, all the information, and that's where we... See, I've learned, I learned like six things from Mark already. Now I've learned a couple <laughs> things from Mary and everything. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I thought I was ready. I'm ready. I'm more ready now. I feel I feel way more confident right feeling now. Feeling better all the time. I'm feeling better all the time, fam. Hey, what's going on, fam? So we made it to our point destination number two. Over here at Scott Air Force Base. You see I got the blocks under each of the uh, stabilizer legs this time. It feels way more stable in there. Peggy, Peggy likes it, so Peggy happy, I'm happy. Um, couple issues. There's gonna be quirks with every site we come to, I guess. This one, the uh, 30 amp connector was like upside down compared to what we normally use, but I got it flipped over there. Maybe I'll figure out a better way to set that up later on. Second issue, well, I couldn't get the water to work. You know, we're expecting each site to work the same as all the other ones. I hooked it up to the water point back there, turned it on, water came straight down to the bottom. But there's some sort of plunger effect at the bottom you got to pull down on to get it to come out the front. So there's two water outlet valves on there, and you just had to find the right one. 
So it took me a little while to figure it out, getting a little upset. I called out the wreck, but they're closed. They don't have an after hours number, but hey, everything works out in the end. So we are set up at site number two. We're more stable and can't wait to get outside and uh, get some more stuff done. Oh, the truck performed beautifully. We got on the road. It's only like about a 50 mile drive from our, our previous site, maybe 60 miles. Yeah, 50 miles, I'll go with 50 miles. And uh, we was doing between 60 and 65 miles an hour all the way. Black Pearl performed beautifully, y'all. So, site two. We're here, we're safe, we're blessed, and we're still smiling. See y'all in the next video. Hey, go out there and do something good for yourself and for others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam. Take me up.